how do I engage with a generation of learners that have so many powerful media tools at their disposal that take so much attention away from the classroom. Video game law um, at, uh, at the Allers School of Law did start out as a conventional law course based on a book um, in, a, in a closed space with you know, the, the, the only students in it and the only people who saw it being those who registered. Going open, having a website, when, video, when lecture capture came along, incorporating lecture capture um, in a big way um, struck me as a way of grabbing the students' attention. The largest part of my career, and certainly the beginnings of my legal career and practice, I was uh, a freedom of expression lawyer. So it was all, even then, for me, it was all about openness, access to information, and being able to express information freely. The fears around how students will react to open or being asked to do things in the open, at least in my experience, is vastly overblown. The zeitgeist of students is to be in a world of open posting, of, you know, and, and so having an open course, having a, a WordPress website allows for that lasting value. Um, and it, it doesn't turn uh, the virtues of learning into something that is cloistered, that is circumscribed, that is narrow. I, I still, sometimes, the, two, the open tools we have are too vertically inclined. They're about professor-student interactions, and we need to create a much better layer of student-to-student -student communications in the context of a course website. Sharing is education. I mean, um, you know, the, the, the whole notion of teachers and students is predicated on uh, the notion that there is knowledge to be shared. So anything that constrains the sharing of knowledge um, is not a good thing for education and arguably is not a good thing for humanity.